Valorant released a brand new update today, and while it isn't the biggest update in the world, it does have some pretty interesting changes relating to Gecko and Lotus, some of the newer pieces of content in the game. On top of that, we get a brand new skin line. So yeah, let's not waste any more time, and let's jump right into this. We are going to be starting by talking about the changes to Gecko. The first major change that happened to Gecko is a change to his Mosh Pit ability. In the past, this ability did 150 damage to players in the center and did 2.5 times that damage to ability items such as Sage's Wall or Killjoy's Lockdown. That is being nerfed to be more directly similar to something like KO or Breach. Now it will deal 1 times damage. So, you know, where before it would deal 2.5 times 150, it now is only going to deal 150 damage. This is significant because now it can no longer break Killjoy's lockdown, which is yet again another buff to Killjoy in a time where it feels like she's the most powerful character in the game. But I think it's a good thing. I think having the characters be consistent is a pretty good thing, and this was probably just an oversight. The other ability that saw a nerf was Wingman. Wingman will now always die if he's the last alive. So there was some times where Wingman could be still out even when everyone on the team is dead and when it's ability that can defuse or plant the bomb that can actually have some pretty big impacts so making sure that that behavior is consistent across all scenarios is really awesome. So while Gecko is already receiving nerfs these seem more like polishing up his kit and making sure that everything is consistent which I am really a big fan of. You know I'm not a big fan of like oh this ability works like this and this ability works like that for some reason and most of the time abilities go away after you know people are dead and in the case of wingman uh, I think this is just a good thing where you don't end up with you know you think you win the round but then wingman was actually you know sneaking the defuse next up let's talk about some lotus changes while this isn't a big one what they did is they changed the breakable door vfx when they actually get broken to make it easier to shoot through while the door is breaking while this isn't a huge deal, it does mean that breaking the door is a little bit more risky as you won't have the cover from the door breaking to shield you as much. So you can see the updated VFX here. Overall, it's a little change, but it is one to be aware of if you are planning on breaking that door and going to B or A. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty big thing in those situations, but outside of that, it's not a big deal. Alrighty, the last thing is going to be a brand new skin bundle being added to the game, and it is the Altitude Skin Bundle. Now, these actually look pretty cool. You can see the banner for them here, but they essentially are these little, like, propeller plane-based guns where you can actually see the agents riding in the cockpits of them, which is really cool. And the little thing at the front of it, the propeller spins. It's a very cool skin. However, there are no effects. There are no variants. And because of that, I just don't think it'll be that well-loved of a skin. But I do think it is one of the more unique ones, you know. They do this thing pretty often where it's like a really cool skin, then a, like a week off or, you know, a skin set off where it's nothing with, you know, effects or finishers or anything like that. And this is obviously going to happen right after Oni 2.0, which was one of the biggest skin sets in a while. Uh, I expect this to be priced around $12.75, so about $12 per skin. Um, and yeah, if you're a fan of one of the agents that happens to be in there, we have things like Viper and Sova and Phoenix. Uh, they could be a pretty cool pickup, but I do think it might be a little distracting having that little, you know, propeller twirling on the front. Either way, guys, that is it for this update. I know this was a quick video, but I just wanted to break it down so you can stay up to date with everything Valorant. It's been a little while since I posted on the channel. This was mostly due to some technical difficulties that should now be fixed. So I look forward to making more content for you guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.